Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another LEGO Super Mario unboxing. This is for the beginning of Series 4. This is the Mystery Packs. Um, so you have 10 brand new uh, enemies slash possibly allies, depending on which ones they are. Um, so we're going to go through and look at each one and see how Mario interacts with them. Um, I've already built them all, so if you see my... It's me, Mario. I've already built them all. If you've already you've seen my other bit, oh, 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 I keep forgetting my table is poison. And that one's fire. All right, can I find a spot to set you down, Mario? All right. We're gonna zoom up in here. All right, so these are gonna be the 10 new ones. I've already built them all. Um, I don't wanna do like videos of watching me build stuff, but I like to show off each one so you can kind of see what they look like. Um, a little bit better than the pictures, as well as uh, see how Mario interacts with them. So this is Bully. Uh, so he's a little ram guy. And he comes with a fire base. And then most of them are just going to be Mario jumping on and not going to do anything extra special. Oh. There we go. Mario does not like that. Um, so if we had some way of being able to defeat him, such as a star block. And it just took one hit to take him out. Alright, so that's kinda cool. So we know like bully can't you know, if you played the games before, um, and lots of these characters are from the newer games, so I'm not as familiar with them. Um, but I've seen some of them in, like, uh, watching videos of uh, Super Mario Maker, so I'm a little, saying a little bit more about a couple of them. But that is definitely, that's one that, that's the thing with him. Uh, it's like bullies as you jump on them. Usually they're big giant ones, it's a little smaller one, so I'm guessing there's two different sizes. Uh, here we have a Goombrat, uh, who's in a... It's a little uh, foresty area. Oh, this one's actually missing a piece. I'm going to set him off to the side. So he should actually be up on the block like this. There's a piece for him to stand on. Uh, yeah, we got a little forest scene there. Or grasslands, I guess. And I'm making it fall apart. And my fingers don't want to pick up Legos today. Um, I'm not sure what game he's from. But, different Goomba. A Goombrat, he's called. He's got a little brown hat on. Um, and then Mario kicks him over. One hit and he's done. Nothing super special there. We'll slide him off. Up next we have this little purple ant who's in like a... Uh, it's called the Ant Trooper. So it looks like he's more in like the castle setting. Got a little torch with him. Uh, got a little tail. Kind of there. It says Ant is uh, a tang eye. So Mario would knock him over. Just one bump and they're done. Care what most of them are. We have. This guy, this is the Sting, Sting Bee, a uh, little bee, I love that, little flying things on the grasslands. Um, kind of interesting that they, and I, I have to see what the character looks like, but then he has these little things as wings and not like the paratrooper type wings we've seen, but then again, those are more like bird wings than bee wings. Um, but Mario's going to knock the bee over, and what's he do to him? One stomp, he's done. Alright, we have another castle character. So I like getting these little castle guys because they'll good feel good for when you're trying to make like a dungeon or for like the ghost houses if you're trying to like work on more of a theme there. Um, plus with the other half of series because series four is actually divided into two different sets. One is a Mario set. Um with, like, more aquatic characters. Um, 
and the other half is Luigi's Mansion. So you got some more guys in here that might work better in like Luigi's Mansion. Uh, this little mouse is the scaredy rat. He's got a little tail there. I like the block that he's standing on. The little torch is really cool. Um, so Mario would knock him down. Get your coin. All right. We got this guy floating on a desert a tile with a little bit of water on the bottom. I like that. Oh, and I knocked off his wing. So this is one of the para biggie buds. Um, I like the little logs on here too. Um, I'm gonna pop him off so we can look. Got a couple other sets with these, but I like how they have little like stumps there. Just a neat little uh, aspect design. So now, presumably, he should have to hit him twice to beat him. One to knock his wings off, one to beat him. But he might be a one-hitter. Yep, he's just a one-hitter. Alright, so we're down to the final four. I'm trying to save the more, more interesting characters for last. Um, Alright, so we're going to look at Mecha Koopa. Um, if you're familiar with him, definitely from Super Mario World. Uh, as you needed to stop on these guys to take out uh, Bowser at the end. Um, so the little wind-up chain, his mouth actually can go up and down, which is neat. Um, they have him so he can pivot on his legs, which is really cool. I'm always show showing you, so most of these guys are just, they stand there. They don't have any other aspects to them. Um, that's kind of neat that he does. Plus, on his actual base... The way it works is because you lock one foot in and you can swivel around on his base. Um, so that's actually neat because it's more interaction out of a character than most uh, just a little minis get. So if we stomp him, I would hope that he stomps twice. Uh, one to flatten him, one to knock him off the stage, but I'm not for sure. Yep, he's got the double bump. Uh, just like a Goomba, like in a turtle shell. Uh, which makes sense, because he's a type of Koopa. Alright. Um, now we're going to look at... This is a coin coffer. So this is a uh, coin frog. Um, so if you've ever if you've seen these before, it's a little, his mouth will open up. It doesn't open up here, unfortunately. That would have been really awesome if they had a little hinge for him to open his mouth up. Um, but yeah, he's definitely neat. Uh, you, you hop on a bunch, and as you hop on, coins pop out. Um, I love his base, though. I love these little steps. Um, that's definitely cool. I would always buy more of these just to get more of these steps, if, if for no other reason. So that's actually kind of cool. So I got three bounces out of him. And then Mario has to reset. So as opposed to like maybe a regular guy, you just bounce on him, they're done. This guy versus like just being an enemy, you, you hit him and then he, uh... Yeah, you can get more coins maybe the quicker you bounce on him. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And then he blocks it. Alright, so we're going to set him off to the side. So we got two other guys. We're going to look at this guy first. He adds a new mechanic to the game. Uh, this is Freezy. So he's just a little ice ice block. Ice. Uh, I like the ice terrain. That's definitely new. Like the blue color. We haven't seen that before. Um, and then what happens to Mario when you do this. I'm going to see him zooming even farther. So this is actually cool. It freezes Mario. And then it slowly thaws him out. So while he's frozen, you can shake him. He doesn't do coin noises. And then now you hear him jumping. But yeah, if you freeze him up, he can't do stuff. He's kind of got like a frozen face. It takes him a bit to cool down. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, what I want to see... Is I just want to see if I can find something red enough. Yeah. So if I freeze him and then I put him on fire, 
Oh yeah, that's that's definitely what I was hoping would happen. So, alright. We're gonna freeze him. And then we put him on fire. It instantly melts it. That's cool. What if we do it the other way? Set Mario on way on fire. Nope, I didn't do it in time. I knocked him out. Let's put it at level two. Nope, it, I mean, it gets rid of it right away, but it just kind of replaces it. But yeah, it's sort of neat, though, is if he's frozen. Ah. Um, if he's frozen and you put him on a fire spot right away, it melts him right away. Um. Let's try to see, yeah. So none of his other base colors do anything. It's just him. But I can put him on that swamp and he's not feeling the swamp effects until right afterwards. Another interesting, if they are swamped, if someone is a swamp color and you put them on water, it instantly cures them. That's another new thing. I don't know if that was with the original. But yeah, putting them on water instantly heals them. So I like that they're adding some of them elemental ideas. Alright, so the last character we have is also an ice-type character. It is a baby penguin, which uh, would be from Mario 64, I believe. So we got a little baby penguin there. And now he has a spot over here instead of a spot on him. So he's an ally like Yoshi or one of the Toads. So we're going to talk to him. He makes like a wonk sound. Oh, it just makes the same noise. Um, nothing extra special there. Uh, but I still need an extra little friend. Um, I'm kind of hoping that means that maybe either A, they're going to release another like wave of Series 4 with some more ice-themed characters, or maybe that'll be Season 5. Uh, so we started off with Grass, um, Grass, Fire, and Desert. And then we added in Series... Uh, three, we added Poison and Bridge. Uh, so you can do Poison with the purple we've seen. Uh, we've seen the fire, we've seen water. And then if you stand on, uh, brown stuff, you have a, a bridge. So that's our fifth one we've added. And then now we have Ice. So it'd be, I kind so I wonder if they're going to add an Ice theming to this or not. That'd be kind of cool. Um, that's what we got for... Super Mario Mystery Pack Series 4. Um, as far as I know, there is no way of telling which one's in here without actually feeling them. If you see my other unboxings of Mystery Packs, usually I can point out like a code or something. Um, but I did not see one on here when I was looking because this number is the same on every pack. Um, yeah, I didn't notice any other numbers. Like I have a set. I have a second pack here I can kind of show. So I have two unopened packs here. Um, one's a Mecha Koopa and the other one is the B. Because those are the only two I didn't have duplicates of because I always buy duplicates. But yeah, they have all the same numbers and everything on them. Um, so I don't know if there's any sort of mystery way of telling these apart. Um... If somebody else has one, let me know. Uh, it'd be definitely cool. Like, to at least post the video so everyone can know. Otherwise, you just kind of got feel. But at least, at least with these packs, unlike the, unlike some other mystery packs, um, because you can actually feel the Legos, you can kind of find a piece that sort of, like, you can find something that makes sense for what the character is. So like this one here is the Mecha Koopa because this leg here I can feel right there. That's the the round piece for his leg and his foot. So that's this piece right here. And he's actually the only character that has that. It's pretty easy to determine. Same thing like finding the bull, you can find kind of like the horn. Um, or if you're looking for one of these two guys, you find the flying, the clear part, and then you just gotta figure out if it has wings or not. Um, 
this guy has big giant pieces there. So some of them are easier to find than others. Uh, but it's definitely doable if you want to spend time feeling around every pack. Alright, so that's what we got for uh, this set. See you guys later. Bye.